Hey guys, it's Gigi Gorgeous. Hey, what's up? I'm Angela. And today we're shooting for Coco. series of videos I'm most proud of are my transition videos. Definitely the most personal thing I've ever done um, publicly like that. So, you know, documenting um, what stage I was at and things that were going on in my life. Definitely, um, I'm very proud of that. I would say the main thing that keeps me going um, and inspired for doing YouTube videos um, are my supporters and people online, you know, like see, are hearing their thoughts and what they have to say, even through the screen or doing meet and greets and things like that. I think it's so inspiring to hear that I've helped them in any way or, you know, that they've given me ideas on videos that have really done really well and helped other people. Um, it all in, like sprouts from one thought, which is really, really cool. And we just vibe and we're all friends. So I really love that. And the advice I'd give someone starting YouTube is definitely know who you are, know what you want to talk about because there's tons of YouTubers now and it's like a career, it's like what people are doing. When I started it was no, there was no such thing, you know, it was just, I was just doing it because I was in high school and bored. So definitely know what you want to do, know what you want to say and know who you are. But at the end of the day, have fun with it because that's what it's all about. Things that I said sometimes in my videos, I'm like, oh my god, girl, what were you doing? What were you saying? What do you want? These opinions, girl, <laughs> where did you get those things in your Head. but I would definitely say the most embarrassing thing is the way that I looked like I feel like some of my style choices some of my makeup choices definitely not proud of those but they're all up online so go check it out you live and you learn it's true I have a ton of things going on right now um, some that I can't talk about which is the most annoying thing to say ever but it's true few collaborations but I'm always working on fun stuff and you know, I've worked with Miley Cyrus and Kylie recently, which has been amazing, but there's a few things on the horizon that I'm really excited about, so stay tuned. There's a war inside my head. Sometimes I wish that I was dead. I'm broken. So the Streamies are an award show for online personalities, YouTubers, internet people, and it's gonna be amazing. And this year is taken to the next level because it's gonna be broadcasted live on television. And I'm so excited for it. I found out I was nominated. I was actually at my house. Um, my dog has had this like pregnancy scare. So I was like spending some time with her and I got this call from my manager and he's like, oh yeah, you've been, you're going to the streamies this year. They, they invited you and I was so excited about that. And then they were like, oh, and you're also nominated. I was like, no, no. And I was so honored and grateful and you know, I really wanted to go last year. So this year, I'm living the dream. <laughs> I'm super excited to see everyone, but I'm most excited 
to see Michelle Phan. She's actually one of the first people that I had ever watched on YouTube. She was starting around the same time as me about six years ago, and she was kind of like the OG beauty girl, so I'm super excited to see her, and I'm actually nominated against her, so. I'm a huge fan of Tyler Oakley, um, Connor Franta, Shane Dawson. I was in one of his short films. Super funny guy, hilarious, and one of my good friends. Trisha Paytas. Um, I love everybody, to be honest, but I'm obsessed right now with Troy Sivan's new album. I just picked that up last week and it's been on repeat in my car. I'm a big fan of all my friends. Yeah, build the talented ones at least. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Honestly, I've noticed that, you know, recently the internet has popped off. Like, it's ever since the MySpace days and, you know, Facebook and then YouTube now, it's done nothing but grow and grow and grow. And there's so many people that have kind of gone from the digital space to traditional media and mainstream culture, which is amazing. And I think there's so much, there's so much talent online and it's being recognized. And I think it's going to do nothing but grow and grow and people are going to be put into mainstream, which is, I think is amazing. I could see YouTubers being nominated for like Emmys and Oscars and Golden Globes and stuff like that just because there's so, there's so much talent there. You know, these people are creative people who started from most likely their bedrooms with cameras like I did. So definitely I can see that happening in the near future. Yo, that's a wrap. Thanks for checking out my shoot. I hope you guys like the photos. Stay gorgeous. Loves it. Just cause you say I'm crazy